Hello, this is Francisco Cribari, and this is a short video where I'm going to show how I edit my street photos. Okay, I use Darktable for that. And let's uh, get a, a photo here. This one, for instance. And, and the first thing that I usually do is to yeah, go to exposure and click on auto so that I see what the software suggests me and then here it increased the blacks by 0022 and exposure was nearly constant if I don't like that, I can always change the value. For instance, if I want uh, a bit more exposure, I can change that as I wish. Or I can just type here point 0.1, for instance. And then I usually go to Lens Correction and do some lens correction here and um, the noise profile it um, dark table recognizes my camera and the iso that was used and uh, i can activate the denoise profile module and it will optimize the denoise for the pair a camera ISO that I used. Here I used a low ISO so that's not a big deal but um, I can do this if I think that's too strong I can always reduce here the strength say 0.4 or something like that that's more useful for <coughs> images that were taken with high ISO so so after that what I usually do I convert the image to black and white and I can do that in different fashions I can go to for instance channel mixer and uh, and then oh it comes with uh, gray it comes with a prof. Uh, oh, here is Velvia. I don't want Velvia. I want channel mixer. It comes with a preset for black and white here. I can do that. And it has other presets for black and white. But I usually. I can also go to color zones and there is a preset here for black and white film that I can use but that's not how I usually do I let me clean this I usually go to the monochrome module where is the monochrome module here and I activate the module and that's how I usually do it. I can always search here for places where I can... I, it's usually useful to reduce the size of the circle and then search for places here where you are happy with the, the image or you can just use the module default and after that I usually feel that the images that we convert to black and white in Lightroom or Darktable or other software have a tiny brownish tint so I come here to color correction and I have a preset that I created here that just lowers the white pole by a tiny bit 
and that's something that's more pleasant to my eyes then I come to tone curve and I do some sort of uh, a S curve here to increase the contrast the module comes with some presets here for instance mad contrast that's medium contrast it's usually an excellent uh, the starting point and then I can fine-tune that if I wish and um, and after that I usually uh, want more contrast than that so I come to the equalizer module and I can apply the clarity preset it's a bit strong but we can always reduce its strength see how strong it is but I can come here to mix and reduce that say to 0.6 and now it's a lot better I created a preset here that I called when I create a preset I always add any star at the end of the preset name so that I can identify the presets that I created so I create a preset called clarity subtool PM PM stands for parametric mask that uh, applies some clarity but what it does it excludes the extreme blacks and it excludes the extreme whites so if I want uh, I want it to be stronger I can always type a, a higher number here say 1.2 or if I want a weaker effect I can always type uh, a smaller number such as 0 0.8 here or something like that and then I go to local contrast and I add some local contrast to the image local contrast is somewhat similar to what Lightroom calls clarity so I just activate the module with the default and then I can if I want more detail I can increase that to 0.3 for instance and um, I usually do some shadows and highlights uh, compensation I can activate the module and it will do some shadows and highlights compensation I usually don't use uh, shadows or use it uh, with a smaller number and oftentimes I change it from Gaussian to bilateral filter here which I think it's safer and uh, and then sometimes I add some vignetting to the image if I want to give more emphasis to the subject of my image so I can do something like that and uh, if I think that his face is a bit too dark I can always come here and uh, and draw a mask the computer is uh, it's slow now because I have several things running at once so here I can draw a mask on his face say let me include this area here something like that and I can give the mask a name such as face and um, I come to exposure I can duplicate the module because I have already used the exposure module and I come here to blend draw mask the mask that I drew face I can do increase that so that I can have I can have some mask decay the effect of the mask decays some sort of feathering 
and I can increase the exposure on his face by some amount, say 0.33 or something like that. One third of, uh, of a point. So maybe it's nicer now. Let me turn the module off. And uh, let me turn the module on. And if I want, I can come to color zones, lightness, for instance. I can click on an area of the image here. For instance, this area. And I can come here move this triangle and here I can adjust lightness saturation and hue controlling for how it affects the neighboring colors so here I can make his skin darker or lighter as I wish and I want to do something like that but I don't in this image I don't want to do something like that so here's the history let me click and compress history stack let me click on the previous step compress compress history stack again and I can add some tags to this image such as monochrome BW black and white for instance street street photo street photography I already have those tags here 2015 and what else where the image was shot Recife is the town Pernambuco, state, Brazil, country, and that's enough. And uh, and here, history. I can take uh, my snapshot here, and uh, final take snapshot click here so this was how I started with the image and this is how it ended so as you can see it changed considerably and uh, when I'm done, I can just uh, go to light table and then I can export the image from here. I can give it, uh, say, four stars or three stars. I usually add a color, pink, that indicates that this image has already been edited. So that's what that means. Here I have some image information and then I can finally export the image if I want it to 2048 pixels on the longest side or if I want it in full resolution I can just use 0 and 0 here and then I click on export and the image is exported. So this was a quick tutorial that shows how I usually edit my uh, street photos images in Darktable.